Hi Radio you I'm Roaming Across Your Mind. Welcome back with me and Zach in Learning English with Zach. How hello, are listeners. you, Zach? Yes, good afternoon, Fatin. And hello, listeners, and, when, and welcome back to another hour of, of the session Learning English with me, Zach. Okay, Zach, so what is the interesting uh, topic for today? Okay, listeners, if you remember, in our first episode, we talked about the different kinds of behaviours. Mm-hmm. Can you remember the three types of behaviour, Fatin? Checking you. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> talked about aggressive, we mm-hmm. talked about passive, mm-hmm. and we talked about assertive behavior. Mm-hmm. And today, listeners, we will focus on assertive communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, we will cover this this three these three questions: Why assertive? When do you practice assert- assertive communication? And the most important thing is how do you communicate assertively to the people around you? Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, and you you may ask me, listeners, what is assertiveness all about? Mm-hmm. So, by definition, def, uh, the definition of assertiveness is is an honest, uh, direct, and appropriate expression of one's feelings. That is our feelings, our thoughts, and also our beliefs. That means you are not afraid to 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 express your your opinion, to express your thoughts mm-hmm. in a manner in which you are aware the other person may not be. May, may not accept or or incongruent with 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 what you have mm-hmm. yeah and uh, why do we need to be assertive especially now at the workplace because at the office we communicate with different types of people mm-hmm. people that comes with from different walks of life mm-hmm. and sometimes the way we talk the way we respond to people it may be misunderstood yeah remember sometimes when we communicate we communicate our feelings we communicate our emotions mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and by practicing assertive communication we will we are telling the other person that hey you know this is what i feel you may not agree mm-hmm. but i'm honest uh, about my own emotions and my own thoughts yeah yeah and sometimes by being assertive you are dis- disciplining yourself you instill some kind of discipline mm-hmm. and you're not afraid to to voice out Mm. You're not afraid to voice out, yeah. Mm. Now, just to test on your assertiveness to see whether you're assertive or not, <laughs> okay. I'm going to read a few questions here, mm-hmm. and you just answer quietly. Mm-hmm. Your boss may be listening to you. Mm-hmm. Just answer yes or no, yeah. So listen up, listeners. First question: Can you express negative feelings about other people and their behaviors without using abusive language? Yeah, sometimes people just. Love to use abusive language, yeah. So, what about you? Second question: Are you able to exercise and express your strengths? Some people are so afraid to blow their own trumpet, yeah, and uh, they don't feel comfortable talking about themselves. Three: Can you easily recognize and compliment other people's achievement? Right? Are, are you free with with with, with compliments? Are you comfortable with giving compliments to other people? Four, do you have the confidence to ask for what is rightfully yours? Yeah. Okay. Do you have that confidence or not? Fifth, can you accept criticism without being defensive? Some people can be very de- defensive. Yeah. Where, mm-hmm. where people, when people criticize them. Mm-hmm. So, are you that sort of a person? Mm-hmm. Next, do you feel comfortable accepting compliments? Yeah, some people they they feel very humble. See, Nola, when I say, "Wow, Fatih, today you look so nice." Yeah, yeah. Nola, why lah, <laughs> Nola? Just say thank you. That will do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you able to stand up for your rights? Are you able to stand up for your rights? You know what is rightfully yours mm-hmm. and what is not yours. Next, can you express negative feelings about other people and their behaviors without using abusive language? And this is more or less the same, more or less the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if if you If your answer answers to all these questions just now is a yes, mm-hmm. yeah, then that indicates an assertive approach. Mm. If no, if no, that means you have to check on yourself mm. on the way you communicate with with others. Yeah. So mm-hmm. so generally, listeners, what is assertive? Assertive here it's having and showing respect for yourself and others. So how do you show respect to others? Mm-hmm. Here again, it's by respecting what they say, mm-hmm. by agreeing, and by, and by being honest yourself, yeah, mm-hmm. and honest, honestly, as uh, expressing your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs, mm-hmm. and also, lastly, to effectively influencing, mm-hmm. listening, 
and negotiating with others. Uh, the the key word here is negotiating. Sometimes in any conflicting situations, compromising and negotiating is the best solution. Okay, Zach, stop here for a while and let's listen to this song. Now, Zach, let's continue our discussion yes, today. Yeah, we're still on assertive communication, dear listeners. Mm-hmm. And I just like to to touch this area on why we need to be uh, assertive in our communication and why we need to practice assertive communication, especially at the workplace. Mm-hmm. Now, remember, when we communicate assertively, we will rationalize what we say. So, which means we will think before we talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we think before we talk. And um, uh, we we consider we will consider the other person's feelings, um, feelings of the other person, the approach. Remember, we talk about the four birds, so we know who we are talking to. If you are talking to the bir- to the bir- to the peacock, we peacock. talk the peacock's language. Mm-hmm. When we talk to the eagles, eagles, we use the eagles' language. Yep. And so is the dove and also the the owl. Yeah. Okay. So which means here. We we find the time to say it right. Mm-hmm. We say it appropriately, yeah, so that the other person can accept what is being said. Mm-hmm. So so that he's able to respond accordingly. Mm-hmm. So in this situation, it's it's a win win situation. Mm-hmm. Unlike aggressive, where mm-hmm. it's a win lose situation, mm-hmm. and the passive, it's a lose lose situation. Mm-hmm. So uh, assertive here, it's it's in between. You win and and I win, although the answer is no. Mm-hmm. Although the answer is no, mm-hmm. and why is that? Some people are so afraid to say no. They are very um, obliging. They always follow or agree to what people have said. So remember, listeners, saying no is 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 is, is okay. Mm-hmm. And no is not the dirty word. Mm-hmm. No is no is not the uh, dirty way, the dirty mm-hmm. word. So if something makes you feel uncomfortable, or if you feel that the request is unreasonable, then it is your prerogative to refuse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the moment now at the office, we tend to say no sparingly, and we tend to accede to whatever people have said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you you're not saying no to the whole person, remember this. But only to the part of the relationship which makes you feel uncomfortable, mm-hmm. and when you say no, it does not require an explanation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So towards the end of this session, afterwards, we're going to have some scenarios that forces you to say no. <laughs> But don't just say no without giving a valid reason, yep. so that the other person will will not ask you why no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So your response will be uh, will, will be quite conflict in this case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now the other area it's. Uh, the fears which block assertive behavior. Why do you think people are so afraid to be assertive? Is number one fear of making mistakes. They're not sure what they're saying is right. Mm-hmm. They're not sure whether what they say will be accepted by the other person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two, fear of displeasing others. Uh, fear of displeasing others. This is a common behavior of the uh, passive behavior. Right. So remember, when you communicate, you have to express your thoughts. It's okay if the other person do not agree with you. Mm-hmm. It's okay if the other person is not happy with you. But what's important here is the way it is said. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not what you say; it's the how you say that that places the, the most important mm-hmm. part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The next one is fear of disapproval. We do not know, so we anticipate. Yeah, we anticipate. And lastly, fear of appearing too masculine or too feminine. Mm-hmm. That shouldn't be the way. You must be honest with with your with with what you want to say. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it may it may come in a feminine way. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it can be in a masculine way. But what's important here? How do you get get it across? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So anything? Uh, we'll come back next on the tip. Of being a, a, a tip on assertiveness. How do you be assertive? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Zach. Okay. Here, let's take a listen to this song. Hi, Radio O. You am roaming across your mind. Welcome back with me and Zach in learning English with Zach. Yes. Hi again, listeners. I hope you're still tuning in. Mm-hmm. Uh, back to our topic today: assertive mm-hmm. communication. Now, I, I just like to share with you. 
yeah um some tips on assertiveness mm-hmm. okay now fatin generally how do you think an assertive person will will act in front of other people uh maybe maybe uh, maybe uh, it's uh, she or he looks uh, politely looks polite mm-hmm. uh they they speak politely yes yeah mm-hmm. okay this is the these are some of the tips yeah mm-hmm. tips uh, an assertive person asserts his or her own rights in a positive open honest and in a self confident manner mm-hmm. yeah normally an assertive person will speak not only confidently but also calmly mm-hmm. calmly because as they talk they think is this the right approach is this the right time mm-hmm. is this the right word mm-hmm. and also using the right tone mm-hmm. using the right tone that's mm-hmm. very important yeah mm-hmm. and um some conv- some communication skills that will help you convey an assertive attitude the first one be aware of your facial expression mm-hmm. so when you talk when you need to smile you smile but, but when the other person is angry don't smile you're asking for trouble <laughs> okay <laughs> so you smile appropriately mm-hmm. yeah and uh, do not project any you know any kind of poker face mm-hmm. when you're talking mm-hmm. a poker face means we, we do not know whether you're happy or not happy mm-hmm. so it's good to show some kind of emotions while while you talk just like what i'm doing now you know mm-hmm. okay number 2 always maintain eye contact mm-hmm. eye contact here means you um, not only that you also have good posture mm-hmm. poised and you are in control of the situation mm-hmm. and while making eye contact it it shows that you're showing respect Mm-hmm. You're showing res- showing respect and and that you are concentrating to what they are saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next one, pay attention to what others are saying and let them know that you are listening. Like right now, what can you do to show me that you are listening attentively to what and concentrating to what I have to say, Fatin? What are some of the things that we can do? Do is by looking. Yeah, uh, and be you must know where to look at and where not to look, mm-hmm. especially men. Yeah, <laughs> and also what to say, mm-hmm. what to say when you are uh, when you want to show that you're listening. Mm-hmm. You you use this word. Hmm. Ha. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 I agree. Ha. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. mm-hmm. You 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 say those sounds mm-hmm. to show that that you are actually listening and concentrating to what they say. Mm-hmm. Use a pleasant, a pleasant, but also a firm voice when communicating. Mm-hmm. So this, this, uh, in this manner, your intonation uh, plays a very important part. Yeah, word stress, mm-hmm. word pause. This mm-hmm. is where it comes in, your listeners. Mm-hmm. Next one, it's um, be aware of your gestures and how you hold and present yourself. We you don't say you are uh, you, you, you. Don't know. And yesterday when I go there, <laughs> oh, you know, very everybody is looking at me. That is very dem- that's overly demonstrative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you just use your hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you say you, it's just you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure you point the right finger. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that is be aware of your gestures and the way you carry yourself. Mm-hmm. And when when you walk, people can tell what sort of a person are you. Mm-hmm. So if if you if you drag your feet, to you know mm-hmm. and <laughs> it, it it shows. Yeah, people can predict the way you talk also. Mm-hmm. Okay, always ask questions to uh, to always ask questions when clarification is needed. To avoid misunderstanding, mm-hmm. so normally assertive people, when when they talk, they they look at ways in which they can ask questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, questions that that you can ask. You are talking about explanation, so they will ask questions like, "Why do you feel that way?" May I ask? Yeah, and if they are not sure, um, and would you like to explain exactly what you meant just now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and another question maybe, and and how do you plan to do it? And how do you think we can possibly do it together? Mm-hmm. Uh, so they are always soliciting response from the other person. This is assertive communication. Mm-hmm. You don't put the communication to a stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and of course, listeners. Yeah, uh, other than assertive communication, if if you if you want to learn more, learn or read about transactional analysis. Mm-hmm. Uh, transactional analysis is a communication pattern where it will tell you uh, or share with you the right way to respond. So that the conversation can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, sometimes we we do talk to people. Uh, you know, we don't. You 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 are not aware of the time because the conversation is so interesting. Mm-hmm. You can talk anything about under the weather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is understanding transact transactional analysis. Analytics. Yeah, and also assertive communication means you're always looking for ways to solve the problem so that all parties are are satisfied. Mm-hmm. So nothing is impossible. There's no. A problem unsolved. So, what assertive communication looks at is you check on mutual understanding, and if you notice that one person is is is, uh, is uh, does not understand what you said, you acknowledge it. Mm-hmm. So you use words like I can see Fatin that you're not sure of what I'm saying just now. Mm-hmm. Would you like me to repeat it? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So you always look look for ways. If you're not able to solve, you ask, "What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you agree? So how do you think we can solve this problem together? Mm-hmm. And if there's no uh, solutions, we compromise mm-hmm. or we give alternatives. What's more important here, you don't just sit there, keep quiet and do nothing. Mm-hmm. You give your ideas, be fair, be honest with your ideas, ask other persons, other people's ideas, acknowledge them. Although it may sound so stupid sometimes, mm-hmm. but you acknowledge the fact that they gave you a, 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 a suggestion mm-hmm. or an idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so here for a while, let's listen to this song. You're beautiful. Only on I Radio O U M. Roaming across your mind. Learning English with Zag. Yes. Now, listeners, let's look at the var- various office scenario, mm-hmm. workplace scenario, mm-hmm. and see how we can respond using assertive communication. Yeah. Okay. The scenario here is: This is very common. You have been asked to attend a meeting to accompany your colleague, but this meeting does not require your expertise. Does not require your expertise at all. For example, you are asked to attend a. Uh, Uh, a meeting that involves meteor learning. It does not. It does not require your expertise at all. Yeah. Mm. And on top of that, you have tons of work to do. Mm. So, how would you respond to that? Bling yes. bling. Bling <laughs> bling. Yeah. How 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 would you respond to that? This is how an, an assertive communication would uh, would look like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish I could, boss, but I don't think my presence is really required there at at, at the meeting, and uh, there's nothing I can contribute. At that meeting too, mm-hmm. and moreover, remember the deadlines you've given me. Mm-hmm. I've got piles of work, piles of report to complete by tomorrow. I have to say no this time. So mm-hmm. how does that sound? You're being honest. honest. A passive person will say, "Okay lah, I go with you lah," because you're my boss. What? A passive person will will do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. An aggressive communication w- w- would be, mm-hmm. "We think I'm very free, man." <laughs> Can you say got so many what to do? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's an aggressive Ag- communication. Mm-hmm. But assertive communications, you 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 voice out mm-hmm. what is right and what is wrong. It's true. Mm-hmm. Rather than just sit there and looking like a twin tower, mm-hmm. yeah. So <laughs> why not you just be at your honest. office and be mm-hmm. honest and, mm-hmm. and get get on to work, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wish I could, mm-hmm. but I don't think my presence would be would would would, would be required at, at the meeting. Mm-hmm. And furthermore, um, there's nothing much I can contribute. Mm-hmm. It's way beyond my expertise. Mm-hmm. And uh, moreover, I've got tons of work to do at the office to meet your deadline, boss. So I have to say no this time. Yeah, don't you think that sounds even better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, another scenario. You, uh, this is to clear things out after an an argument or a misunderstanding. Normally, what do we do if we if we are in a conflicting scenario, situation with our friend? Normally, we will retaliate, right? We will retaliate. We will talk bad. We will, we will yell. We will shout, and we will freeze the person. And we don't talk for one week or one month mm-hmm. until the day he he resign or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's a better way to handle this. Mm-hmm. First, you must look at your relationship with the other person. Why did that conflict happen? Mm-hmm. Is it because of a situation, or is it because of you? Mm-hmm. So, if you really value that relationship with 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 uh, with that person, you should say something like this, yeah. Uh, Julie, assuming the name is Julie, mm-hmm. Julie, I'm upset about what happened the other day between us, and uh, because I value our friendship, I'd like to clear it up. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. Or. Mm-hmm. The other day you said something quite out of character, Julie, and your words really hurt me. Can you tell me what what was going on, and would you like to talk about it? Ah, mm. uh, if I were to say that to you, Fatin, how does that make you feel? Important? Were you touched by my gesture? Mm-hmm. Yes. In this situation, normally it's a uh, like you're playing tug of war. Mm-hmm. You wait. You 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 will wait for the other person to to give in, and the other person is waiting for you to give in. And sometimes because of ego, mm-hmm. situations like this will prolong until the end of time. They say, yeah. Mm-hmm. So an assertive person, a person mm-hmm. will cut it short and speak their mind and find the right time to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do you feel um, after listening to what I've said just now? If we are in a conflicting situation, mm, I feel. Uh, Calm, calm. You feel calm. You mm-hmm. feel calm. 
And, and then, you think you're you're ready to talk about yes, it? Yes, ready to talk. What what the problem? What is the matter? What's what, the matter? What, what's the problem? What I feeling yeah. about that that person? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So here again, it's you you can say it, but you need to find the right time, mm-hmm. the right time. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if 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 my friend were to say this, I I would feel very important. Mm-hmm. I would feel very important to to the other person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is an, uh, a misunderstanding. Uh, or an, an argumentative scenario. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the uh, the next one. This is I'm sure very common. It has happened to me. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now your boss shouted at you in front of everyone in the office, mm-hmm. where there are guests and visitors around. Yes. So what what would you do? Now obviously you feel em- em- embarrassed, em- right? Embarrassed. Mm-hmm. And definitely angry. Yep. Angry, of course. Of course. And but please, in this situation, please do not react. Yeah. Please do not react. Mm-hmm. Um, here's what you can do from preventing it to happen again. Mm-hmm. To happen again, mm-hmm. first, you need to find and check the facts, and ask yourself why is boss behaving like that? Mm-hmm. Is it is it common or is it uncommon? Mm-hmm. Is it the first time? Mm-hmm. Something must have gone wrong. Mm-hmm. Check: is it your fault mm-hmm. or is it somebody else's fault? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it a misunderstanding? Mm-hmm. Then pick the right time and think of the right approach to meet your boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can approach your boss and say, "Boss, may I have ten uh, minutes with you this evening? Mm-hmm. I'd like to share something important with you." Mm-hmm. Uh, then your boss says, "Okay, okay, 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 okay." So later in the evening, you come and say, "Boss, I remember the other day at 10 a.m. you came to me and shouted at me in front of so many people." And then you use a pausing effect. Yeah, you don't talk as though there's no full stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you give that means you you use the pausing effect mm-hmm. to give your 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 your, your boss a chance to reflect. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay. And um, I'm just here to share something with you, um, boss. I really don't mind you correcting my mistakes. Yeah, but what what I appreciate is could you uh, call me to your office? We can sit down and you can you can score me for whatever mistakes that that I have done, but not in front of everybody, boss. I, I I felt really embarrassed, and people are still talking about it. Mm. So what what I I I'm, I'm, I I want you to do now is call me to your office. I'll come. I can come in. I can stay back late. It's not a problem. But please do not do that again in front of everybody. Would you be able to do that for me, boss? Thank you. Yeah. Mm. It's it's not wrong in telling your boss what to do. Maybe yeah. He your boss maybe in mm. in in a tense or a tight situation. Yeah. So maybe he's not aware. So I'm sure bosses are also hum- humane. Yeah. So go and approach him and, and and say, and say like that. I said that to my boss, mm-hmm. and in the end, you know what my boss said? Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I promise I will not do that. End of story. Mm. You won. Right. So so those are the examples of of a uh, three 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 scenarios, uh, three scenarios mm-hmm. where you can practice um, assertive communication. Okay. For, for more, for more, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Is in English with. I read your roaming across your mind. <laughs> yes, you're back with us, yeah. Okay. Uh, with Fatir and I on learning mm-hmm. English with Zach. Now let's look at this 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 scenario. And mind you, listeners, all these scenarios are my personal scenarios. Mm-hmm. And over the years, I've collected some of the best approaches done by my by my bosses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the next approach is, as a boss, you notice that this particular staff of yours has been going on MC. Mm-hmm. And uh, due to migraine, yeah, and uh, and there's only two two staff under you, um, two staff under you, and you you need her to be at the office, yeah, and uh, her absence has somehow or other handicapped the 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 uh, the flow of the office, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and um, you call your staff in, and um, what would you say to your staff at him? You want to know why he or he uh, he or she. Has been going on MC for quite now for quite a number of times, yeah. So this is what you can say. This is or rather, this is what my boss used used to, to tell me. Um, in the afternoon after lunch, she approached me and she said, "Zach, can I have a word with you? Can I have what ten minutes uh, before you go off this evening?" I said, "Okay." Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that evening before I left for work, I approach her mm-hmm. and um, a very good approach mm-hmm. I can still remember the approach until today mm-hmm. and uh, she asked me Zach you, you, would you like to have some coffee while, while we talk 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh. It's, it's not like a... Uh, that uh, you, 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 I'm sitting in front of him. You sat at the sofa. Mm-hmm. Then I say, um, yeah, coffee would be nice. I like it black. Mm-hmm. Why not? Every anything free tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> so and and she started off by saying, Zach, I I noticed that you have been going on medical leave mm-hmm. due to migraine, mm-hmm. and uh, last week alone you went on three days, three mm-hmm. consecutive days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, that is why I, I'm here to. To, to, to share with you that I'm a bit concerned about this because I used to have migraine mm-hmm. yeah and I just like to know uh, which doctor do you normally go to mm-hmm. and do you always go to the same doctor then I said yes yeah then I said um, then he said uh, uh, I would like to suggest that you go and see mm-hmm. uh, or seek second alternative mm-hmm. second alternative maybe mm-hmm. that there are some food Intake that you should not take, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you have been a very good staff, Zach. Mm-hmm. And you know, there's only two of you, and uh, you are very neat. You're very update. You're very meticulous, and you're very up to date with your work. Mm-hmm. And I need you to be at the office. And mm-hmm. by you going off on medical leave due to migraine, I'm mm-hmm. not saying that it's wrong for you to go migraine. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying here is that I think go for a second checkup. Yeah, I have this this doctor of mine. Mm-hmm. This is the number. Mm-hmm. And I go go to the clinic and get. A recommendation letter. Mm-hmm. Go and see. It's 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 good to find out the root cause of it. Mm. Yeah, and I just found out that you just delivered the baby, mm-hmm. and uh, it it could jeopardize your family time, mm-hmm. family time as well. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is here, we must take care of our health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, if there's anything I can help, please do feel free to come and see me. Mm-hmm. Wow! Wow! Felt so good. I felt <sighs> so good. That means I thought. Uh, in in a way, mm-hmm. she makes me feel that, uh, you know that, that I'm a good worker and I'm important. Mm-hmm. At the same time, hey, take care of your health. Mm-hmm. Take care of your health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's one. And the other one, it's um, this. You notice your colleague. This is a peer peer uh, situation. Mm-hmm. You notice your colleague has not been answering her telephone. I don't know whether she don't like to pick up the phone or what, and she will normally re- let the phone ring and ring and ring. Until the phone stop ringing, I don't know. I think she's allergic to the ringing phone. Yeah, <laughs> where you shouldn't, yeah, listeners. And you also have received complaints about the telephone service of your department. What will you say? In this situation, to say or not to say is your choice. Mm-hmm. But what will make you say? Yeah, and it is your responsibility and your duty to give her the feedback mm-hmm. for the benefit of your department. Mm-hmm. Because the image does not rely on in your hands, mm-hmm. but in everybody's hand. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think we 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 must say to this person? This is what we can say, assuming you are you are my other colleague. Say, Fatin, um, do you agree that both of us play a very important part in in the image of our department? Mm-hmm. And one of the best way is through is by answering the telephone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have received complaints, you know, mm-hmm. from uh, other unit heads. That when they try to call your number, mm-hmm. I hope you don't get mad. But as a friend, I feel that it's my right to tell you. Mm-hmm. And they call your your number several times, mm-hmm. and you don't seem to be pick up picking up your phone promptly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this has not come across very well. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, as a friend, that uh, if there's anything that could help, just let me know. But I think it's our job to pick up the phone. Shall, mm-hmm. shall we do that for now? So the way you say it is, you you make them feel very guilty. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you must also tell them that we are in it together, mm-hmm. and how his actions uh, affect the whole image of the company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for assertive communication, uh, listeners, that's all for today. Mm-hmm. I hope you 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 will give it a try. Mm-hmm. Give the try and be be more confident when you talk yep. and be honest with your feedback mm-hmm. and go for it. So mm-hmm. till next week. Okay. Have a great week ahead. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum.